Hi, I'm Senator Cameron Bartolotta and welcome to Focus on the 46th. First of all, forgive the sunglasses, I'll have them on the whole show. I just had laser surgery on my eyes yesterday, so timing is everything. But I was not going to miss this wonderful event happening right in my hometown of Monongahela, Pennsylvania. We are celebrating our 250th anniversary for four days this whole weekend. And there are gonna be so many things going on. We're here with you on the very first day of our celebrations. So we're gonna see a few of the activities, but we're gonna describe what's gonna happen for the whole rest of the weekend. You won't wanna miss this. And this is quintessential Americana at its very best. And I'm glad to share it with all of you. Stay tuned. We are here with the absolutely fabulous Laura Magone, who is the president of the 250th celebration of Monongahela. Um, she's also a documentarian. She is, uh, she, she does everything. She's very knowledgeable about the history of Monongahela. And I am thrilled to death to kind of highlight this as a, as a show for all of our viewers to celebrate this with, with you and everybody else in Monongahela and the whole Southwestern region. So we're here in Chess Park. Tell me what's happening this morning. This morning we are opening the whole four days. We have, we're starting off with a veteran ceremony, then we're going to have a welcome uh, from the people of the town to the community, and then the moment everybody's waiting for, the digging up of the time capsule. Okay. This is the big thing. How old is the time capsule? 50 years. 50, oh. In July, it was buried 50 years ago, and when it was buried, those of us who were here, yeah. that sounds like science fiction, the year 2019, and now here we are. <laughs> That's right. Went by like that, didn't it? Yep. Almost. <laughs> and I was here, I was nine. We're, oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Okay, so we're gonna find out what was in that, mm -hmm. um, but also, what are the other things are happening here we've got a, a wonderful crowd today we've got boy scouts i see we've got some veterans we've got all sorts of things going on describe what today is going to be like today is a celebration of the town so we have the people starting to assemble after the ceremony opens we have food trucks coming we have a time for people just to assemble and talk and tell stories of days gone by uh, we've we a, have we've got a color guard a going by right color now color guard right now <laughs> We have um, uh, a, we have a women's history presentation at three. At four o'clock, we have something on the Whiskey Rebellion since it ended in this town. Yeah. So that's important to us. We have Ringgold students assembling to play music later in the day. We have a concert at the Baptist Church. Going in order. <laughs> we have a wine and cheese reception at the chamber. Uh -huh. More things than we typically have in a day you, you in our think? sleepy little town. You think? Yeah, that's in one day. Not all four days. That's one day. <laughs> that's, and that's about yeah. two thirds of it. Okay. Yeah. And maybe just quickly kind of run down some of the things that we'll be experiencing here in the next few days. Sure. Some of the notable people, like the concert that's coming up. Who's the conductor? We have Jay Chataway coming in, born right here in Little Monongahela, but he composed the Star Trek music, the Rocky music, so many things. And we're, we get choked up talking about it because he's coming home to guest conduct at the Aquatorium, but we will have a laser light show going on. We're saving him till the end, yeah. and um, it'll be dark whenever he starts guest conducting the Star Trek music. Can you believe that? Right here. And so, just name a few of our notable people who came right out of this tiny little town of Monongahela? Well, we have a lot of people. I mean, we can start on my favorite street, Park Avenue, and talk mm -hmm. about Fred Cox, the kicker, the inventor of the Nerf football. We can talk about Joe Montana, quarterback. We can talk about Dr. Ron Pellegrini, notable cardiothoracic surgeon. Jim Jamiro. Jim Jamiro founded the Disney Channel. Uh, oh, General Vano, four-star general, former chief of staff of the U.S. Army. It goes on and on, on and, and on. on and on. And that's before we get to the Bartolotta family that we <laughs> love in Monongahela, with roots going back to the Italian immigrant era. Yeah. And Aldo and his brother Leo, who started the grocery store, and were just so generous and benevolent, and uh, goes on and on and on. 
that out and led yeah. to you. Hey! So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we love this town and I am thrilled to death to share just a little tiny bit of what's happening in this wonderful little river town in south southwestern Pennsylvania and share it with all of my viewers for uh, Focus on the 46th. Come visit us. We're here with Martha Muniz, Secretary of the 250th Committee, but what I, we haven't heard yet is who thought of this idea? When did you start planning this massive extravaganza of a weekend? It actually started about four years ago, three to four years ago, okay. and it has morphed since then. It, uh, it got a very rough start, mm -hmm. and then it almost died out, and then the four of us decided to jump in and get it going again. Mm -hmm. And from there, it's been about a year that we have been actually in the throes of you know, real planning. It's really been quite a feat, yeah. quite a feat. Oh, we, yeah. we didn't know at times if we were going to be able to get through with it, but here we are. But okay. because of volunteers and because of a lot of wonderful people coming to the plate to sponsor, yes, definitely. who is your major sponsor or who are some of them? Uh, EQT is okay. one of the biggest. And right. when you talk with Laura, she will probably be able to give you a lot more names. We have many, many people that have really, really helped out. Yeah. We were very thrilled how many people wanted to jump in and buy banners for the city. Oh, right. It was amazing. We just put it on Facebook and people just began, you know, letting us know and we were able to put banners all over the place. It's just been great. And all the bunting and everything. All the bunting, yes. All through downtown. All through it's downtown. just been great. Right. But tell me a little bit about what's happening on Sunday. Today's Thursday. We're kicking the, the, the events off. Yes. Something really, really special is happening Sunday. What is that? Well, we were in touch with the Guinness Book of Records, and Laura has a history with the wedding cookie table community. She's the one that was the founder of that, and uh, she had this idea that maybe we would like to try to set the record. Now, we are actually setting the record. We're not trying to break a record. Mm -hmm. We're going to set the record. We want to set the bar very high because oh, we yeah. know that somebody's going to come after us next year. <laughs> so on uh -huh. Sunday, we're going to have all these bakers. Some are coming in from Michigan, from Erie. For, they're coming in from all over and we're going to have in this part of the park over here we're going to have a continuous wedding table set up mm -hmm. the women are going to come in their cookies are going to be counted photographed and then we have to have a notary verify that their cookies <laughs> the cookie counts are correct there we go then they're going to display their cookies and we will have it all covered with netting. We're going to have weddings take place. How many weddings on Sunday? Right now I know of three weddings and a vow renewal. Wow! So right far. here in Chess yeah. Park on right Sunday. Right here in the gazebo. And then we're going to have the world's largest wedding cookie table. Right. And it has to be connected. Yes. So there, we're getting, how many tables are you guys setting up? We're going to set up probably about 150 tables. Big, long, eight-foot tables, yes. right? Yes. So it's going to look like a giant maze. Yes. <laughs> yes. Your well, we, haven't, we haven't gotten to that point yet because it's going to have yeah. to be very organic. When we come okay. here Sunday morning at 7 o'clock, oh. we're going to start throwing tables up and getting them arranged. Yeah. And uh, as soon as the weddings, uh, as soon as they're pronounced husbands and wives, yeah. then the Guinness Book of Records will come up and they will announce that we have set the record. Yep. Then the tables will be open. There we go. And so. it will be a full-on cookie feast. It will be a full-on cookie feast. Yes. 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 That's going to be amazing. That's just one thing happening with all of these activities yes. in the that's next all That's kind of our culminating activity. It's, yeah. it's the biggie at the end. Well, hey, you know, everything wonderful ends with cookies. Right. So and we'll be in the Guinness fitting. Book on our birth date. Uh, yay! Oh, that's the actual birth date. It's it, on well, Sunday. Well, it's, it's, it's this time. It's yeah. 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 Oh, mm -hmm. I, I, that's phenomenal. Yes. So yes. congratulations Thank on everything you. you're Thank doing. Thank you. We appreciate your help also. You've been a very, very big help to us. We really appreciate it. My pleasure. It's just, it's going to be a wonderful weekend. Yes, it will. Can't yes, wait. It will. We are here in Chess Park with our wonderful Tony Bettino, our chamber president, Monongahela chamber president. Um, so I, this is one of the many, many wonderful things that happens right in Monongahela. And with your really hard work with the chamber and getting the entire town involved, can you just give us a little bit of a rundown of what it is that the Monongahela Chamber does, how long you've been there as president, and about how many of our wonderful businesses are part of this great organization. Well, sure. I think, uh, well, I've been president for about 10 years. The Monongahela Area Chamber of Commerce has approximately 170 members from all over the area. Uh, our first, and, uh, first thing we try to do is bring, help the existing businesses flourish and try to bring new businesses in. 
And while today we're celebrating 250 years of history, I have to say one of our things is going forward, we think the best years are ahead of us. So as a Chamber of Commerce, we want to continue to encourage people to come to the best place to live, open a business or raise a family right here in Monongahela. And a lot of the things that the Chamber does too, again, you know, encouraging businesses to participate in all of these community events, to drive through town and to see all of the wonderful decorations and all the bunting and all the flags and the patriotic uh, you know, symbolism here is really fantastic. Um, you, know, you encourage people to do that with like little contests and prizes and to beautify your home. And it really is a very Rockwellian place to be. And um, just name a couple of the other things that happen right here in this area that bring tourists to our fine little Well, I mean, we do so many events throughout the year from Easter egg hunts to Halloween parades to uh, our 4th of July fireworks. So we do a lot of community events right here. It attracts a lot of people from all over the area. And we, we do encourage participation and we usually get a fair amount. Mm -hmm. Well, and the concerts too. I mean, we did a whole concerts, show about that. Yeah. But um, you know, when it comes to this, I mean, I know that this team, the 250th board, they've been working at this for years. Um, and I know that that you've been very, very helpful spreading the word on social media and all sorts of things. So, what is the next big thing happening in our little town that we can tell our viewers about? Beyond the 250th. Yeah. Well, we have our big light up night, which is the uh, Friday, right after uh, thank right before Thanksgiving, I apologize, mm -hmm. where we get so many people in town that we have to close the street. And that's celebrated with fireworks. All the businesses participate. We probably have, I, I would say, a couple thousand people in town. All the stores uh, decorate. There's decorating contests, uh, food. And, and it really is uh, up and down Main Street, just like you said, Rockwellian. I mean, it's, it's just you can't get this in suburbia or anywhere else except for a small town like Monongahela. Yeah, and Santa Claus comes up, and they bring a tree, and they put it right here in the gazebo here in Chess Park, and they have big lighting. We've got Victorian carolers. But, you know, it's about 85 degrees today. And just to think about, you know, the, the light up night and Christmas coming, it'll be here before you know it. But yeah. uh, I'll tell you, well, there's so much to do um, in Monongahela, and I can't thank you enough. Hey, thanks a lot, As our chamber president, doing so much for the community and for the town. Well, thanks. we're proud to have you here from Monongahela. So thanks. thank you, Cameron. For this celebration of our 250th, we chose the theme, Building a Nation. There probably is not a more productive and industrious group of people than what you'll find right here in the Midmon Valley area. It's part of who we are and it's in our DNA. We know that people started their journey westward from here as our country was settled on the flatboat ferries that operated right in that direction by the DeVore and Parkinson families. Many of us are the product of 19 and 20th century immigrants who came here and stayed here. They sacrificed, they suffered, and they too toiled to build this nation and build this great town. Today we have people who have come here from several states as we gather to help us to pay tribute to this home that unites all of us with common roots and common bonds. But we have many other things in common. I think one thing that sometimes we take for granted because we're here so much but people remember whenever they come back, this is a place where you will still have drop-in company coming to your door. We celebrate together. We have friends and neighbors who rally when someone is sick or hurting. We can experience true care and true concern here. We live truly among gracious people, a place where someone will stop to help you and talk to you. This celebration is truly a tribute to what lasts in life and what is most important, our roots and our bonds. In reality, Monongahela is a small town. I believe it's the second smallest city in Pennsylvania. But this small town has provided over and above its share of notable citizens who have contributed so much to the world. Authors, composers, screenwriters, educators, athletes, doctors, scientists, inventors. Joe Montana, one of the NFL's greatest quarterbacks. Fred Cox, one of the NFL's greatest kickers and leading scorers. Jim Jamiro, the founder of the Disney Channel. 
Mitch Daniels, Director of the Office of Management and Budget, former Governor of Indiana and now President of Purdue University. General Carl Vuono, a West Point graduate who rose to be a four-star general and chief of staff of the Army. He was a mentor and teacher to Generals Colin Powell and David Petraeus, who also became extraordinary leaders. What a lasting impact the Monongahela resident has had on our armed forces. Say hello quickly to Senator Cameron Bartolotta, who's our Grand Marshal. Come, just come up for a second. We're so, ho we're so proud of our hometown senator. Okay. I wasn't going to speak. Um, I just wanted to thank everybody for coming. This is phenomenal. This is my hometown, and I don't care if you call it Monongahela, Monongahela, or Monongahela. We call it Mon City. And I just want to thank everybody for being here, all the volunteers, our wonderful, wonderful honor guard. God bless you. God bless you for, be, for showing up, rain, shine, heat, sun, anything. God bless you for that. Thank you for our young Marines. They watched my son, Dante, graduate from Paris Island a couple years ago. God bless all of our veterans, our Gold Star families, our Blue Star families, everyone who participated in this. And I just can't wait for all of the fun and festivities for four days. Thank you, Laura, and the entire team. Thanks so much. Thank you, Senator. Dawn is somebody who represents the best of what our hometown is all about. So Dawn, we thank you for what you've done. I want to invite you to uh, make some comments and start on the highly anticipated portion of these next four days. Thank you. Thanks, thanks Laura. I want to say to everybody, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I think that at this time, we need to open a time capsule. What do you think? There we go. We're here in the Longwell House in Monongahela on Main Street with Carol Fry, who happens to be the treasurer of the Monongahela Historical Society and the treasurer of a brand new group that you're going to tell us about, which is? The Monongahela 250th okay. for our celebration for our birthday. Okay, and it is a huge celebration. It is indeed. A it's lot of work. A long work in progress mm -hmm. finally come to fruition. Okay, so tell me what is the 250th anniversary and why it's so special that it's, it, Monongahela is 250 years old. A lot of people don't know that. We're older right. than Philly. Right. Monongahela was established. It wasn't initially Monongahela, but a, we were initially laid out in 1769. And so we're celebrating that 250th birthday. We've gone through several reincarnations. It's been Williamsport, it's been Parkinson's Ferry, and that's no N in Parkinson. Uh, Monongahela City is what we technically are now. And uh, here we are today to say that there is longevity in these small little communities. So we're glad to be here. Well, there's longevity because of people like you and because of the Historical Society and because of volunteers and because of our excellent Chamber of Commerce and people that see the benefit of Absolutely. history, Absolutely. heritage, tourism, and Absolutely. the value in preserving things. How old is this house that we're in right now? The building that we're in right now was built in 1872 for riverboat captain David Longwell and it was designed by an architect who was very famous in town. He changed the face of Main Street as my dear friend Susan reminds me and his name was John Blythe. And we have many of those remaining houses that we like to show people when we do our ghost tours that we do yearly. It's making you learn that history that you didn't want to learn when you were in school. But it's in a really fun, fun way. It so is it, indeed. And it that, is indeed. And that's another wonderful thing about Monongahela. There's, there's so much history and there's a lot of heritage and we're very, very proud of it. And um, it, it makes it fun yes, all it year long. All there year long, all indeed. Year long. Yes. indeed. And you'll get information on my website, but also you can come to the uh, Monongahela Historical Society Facebook Absolutely. page. Absolutely, our Facebook yeah. page, our website. Yeah, and you know, tourism is a huge thing right now. And there are a lot of people wanting to, to learn about the roots of their communities exactly. and just experience all sorts of wonderful things. And it really is an experience. Yes. to come to Monongahela and yes. the experience will continue for four days. Oh, for four days. So today is Thursday um, the 8th and uh, I know we're bringing all this information to you after the fact but you know what it is so special and it's so exciting and so many things are happening 
um, we can't wait to share all of them with you. So we're here with Susan Bowers, and the vice, she's the vice president of the Monongahela Historical Society. And uh, we were just chatty chatting about all the wonderful things that are right here. Now again, you're just moving into this building, the Longwell House, Correct. from a place up the street. Where were you at the other um, location on Main Street? We were at 230 West Main Street. For how long? Um, oh, we were there for, I bet, 10 years. Okay, so and there's a lot of stuff to bring over here. Oh, uh, well, there's still a lot uh, of stuff lot. up there, believe me. Yeah, we're, so we're in mid-move, so believe me, when this is all done, it's going to be just as glorious, if not better, well, than right, the other place. Right, because we, we have, have upstairs, upstairs, oh, and, wow. and we'll have all kind of storage, and we could do like what we're supposed to do, have wonderful displays mm -hmm. to share with the public, and, okay. and my, my big goal is to get the younger people involved, because they are the ones, we want to get them to love history, mm -hmm. and to love their town, and to know something about it. Absolutely. And speaking about displays, mm -hmm. uh, there's one right here. I want you to, I didn't even peek at this before because I was waiting for you to let me know about it. So why don't you tell me all about what's in this particular case here. Okay, well, um, a lot of these items are from um, store promotions back in the day when they would put their name on um, items like the uh, yard sticks and um, uh, the glasses. And there's um, the dairy from, that was in Monongahela. And this is special right here are two Anton, Anton lamps. And uh, we had the brothers, um, the Anton brothers, George Anton, they discover, I mean, they manufactured these and these were used by miners before there was a, had lamps and they would light the little wick that would come here and they would put it on their hats. And they were manufactured right here and um, <clears throat> they were sold all over the world. <clears> that was the uh, Anton lamps. Mm -hmm. There are, and Crawls Florist right there. Right. I see that, oh, that, that was, still exists. We still it, have Crawls exactly. Florist right on Main Street. They've been so here. A lot of the, yeah, a lot of these family names you still see today. Exactly. Thank you so much for joining me here on Focus on the 46. They have just excavated the time capsule. 50 years of memories. Most of these people were here 50 years ago. Their tears, their cheers. We can't wait to see what has come out of this wonderful time capsule, but I want you to come right here to Monongahela and go to the historical museum and take a look at what they just excavated. Thanks so much for joining me in my hometown of Monongahela. We'll see you next time on Focus on the 46th. The Senate of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania heartily congratulates the city of Monongahela on this momentous and joyous occasion of its 250th anniversary. Offers best wishes for growth and prosperity in the years to come. Glenn Marshall. Camera, bottom